Hey everyone, good news! Nintendo Switch is now out inside of Rec Room. Welcome Nintendo Switch players, and of course we have a bunch of news to cover about it. Now, I have barely noticed this now, but we have new colors on the Rec Room sign and some new banners up, as well as some new text as well as you guys can see. So believe it or not, you can actually join the launch party of Nintendo Switch, and all you have to do is log into the Rec Center and you get a free cheesecake. I'm pretty sure it's still a thing now, I hope it is, but if it's not, be sure to comment down below, please. We would also got an announcement about it and stuff, I'm not gonna read it you guys can just pause and read if you guys do want to download rec room for switch you guys can actually check it out inside the link in the description too now there was a little note from a rec room developer talking about crescendo being run on the nintendo switch just so you are aware it does not have the new crescendo improvements yet so you'll have quite a bit of fun with the caves being completely dark the next major update will fix this, and Meta Plus and Meta Quest players will be able to play along. But we'll leave it enabled since it won't be long until it's fixed, and just think of it as a new hard mode we created. When asked if it applied to Isle, it was confirmed to no. Isle was already optimized for vertex lighting. And in case you guys wanted a sort of measurable measurement on the actual Nintendo Switch performance within Rec Room, Jay, the Rec Room developer, had played three games of Murder V3 on Switch, and even it was, you know, around 30 FPS, but it was still fun. Boom. Did I get you? Well, if I got you, you should totally use my code. Did you know I'm verified inside a Rec Room? Hopefully you do. That would suck, because I have a code that you can use. If you don't know, it ends every 45 days, and of course, it just supports me inside a Rec Room, so whenever you do decide to spend money inside the game, I just get a percentage of that. that that's literally it. Anyways, I love you if you use my code, and uh, no hard feelings, I guess, if you don't use my code. Anyways, use it. Back to the video, Jit. But believe it or not, this Nintendo Switch release hides more news. On the Nintendo switch there's a new special launch bundle you can get some tokens some wings and some new consumables as you guys can see it was confirmed by a player named drago that these names for these items are like honey lavender you know coffee or something like that i'm guessing and taro bubble tea it seems like these items had actually transferred over to PC version Rec Room, so if you have it on Switch and stuff and you're able to buy the bundle, then you can actually get those consumables on your other accounts as well. What do you guys think? I think that the bundle is pretty expensive, but to be honest, it kind of gives an incentive for, you know, downloading Rec Room on Switch. Only, only sorta though, because you still have to pay money. And if you're worried about your room being able to be played inside of a Nintendo Switch, it was confirmed that right now you have to submit your room to be featured. If your room is featured, it will also be made available on Switch. And that pretty much wraps up all the actual, you know, Nintendo Switch news. So be sure to let me know what you guys think down inside the comments below. Do you have a Switch? And if Rec Room's on it, how's the performance? Now there was another announcement from Rec Room talking about Evergrown PvP and map building and stuff. Jeffy, a Rec Room developer, had said, We've heard from some creators that they'd love to clone a remix Evergrown PvP, but can't build the kind of room that they want because the environment can't be changed easily and without Rec Room Studio there's no easy way to just clone Evergrown PvP and simply delete the ground to make a map set on the moon, right? To fix this we released template free for all PvP yesterday. We removed all of the Evergrown assets from the room and replaced them with simple Maker Pen shapes. You can clone it and make your own awesome PvP rooms using these circuits, even if you don't have Rec Room Studio. You can check it out and clone it here at that rec.net link, which I will also have down inside the description below and be sure to let me know what you think. You know, there's been a lot of pauses and breaks inside this video, so I'm gonna cut you guys some slack. I'm not gonna do anything wacky at all. <laughs> Anyways, though, did you know that I have channel memberships, and basically they're like a Patreon. You give me money every single month, and I give you some special perks every single month. Shoutouts inside my videos, and sneak peeks to my videos, of course, and a list of other things as well. But of course, these people do include... Kobe Fan, Daytrix, Hydro, Nolan, Not the Pup, The Dragon Boy, Gasly, Garlic Red, It's Freddy RR, Chase, We have BBB, Burning Owl, Raphael, Clown of the Six Nine, and of course, Box David. Now, of course, it's the old method and not the actual cool little posters that I usually have because some new members joined and uh, I couldn't get one in time. Anyways, I love them, join the family, and of course, let's get back to this video. And we've covered so much news already, but did you know that this video is sponsored? This video's sponsor is Kiwi Design, baby. They decided to give me their G4 Pro Performance Controller Grips for Quest 3 and 3S, and in case you guys don't know what this product does, it shields your MetaQuest Touch controllers from scratches and dirt, while keeping them secure during dynamic actions like moving around, playing your friends in Rec Room, I, I don't know, whatever. Not to mention these 
these controller grips have knuckle grips as well, meaning that you don't have to grip your controller and still be able to hold your controller. It's a game changer. In my own personal experience, the knuckle straps have kept the controller securely attached to my hands, and of course, I love it, they're even adjustable too. Setup is pretty easy and it's literally just in one step, and in case you guys are worried about batteries and replacing them in your controllers, there's a little compartment to open that up inside your controller too. In my experience of having them, it's pretty good quality and the translucent silicone frill ensures stable transmission for tracking signals. And hey, maybe you're not inside the market for controller grips, but Kiwi Design is actually giving something free away. They're giving away free VR lens guards, and if you guys want some, then be sure to check out the link inside the description. If you guys are interested in controller grips, you guys can check them out in Kiwi Design and use code SKL for 5% off your order. Remember, that's code SKL for 5% off your order. Thanks Kiwi for sponsoring me and the product, and let's get back to the video. Man, I'm killing these sponsorships. Honestly, I'm great at them. Leave a like right now. Leave a, leave a like right now. Now lastly for Rackham news, it appears that we won't be getting any major updates this week, unfortunately. Rackham's cooking of course, and it'll release when it releases, but we'll just have to wait and see. And now unfortunately, that's all the news that we have today, so of course if you haven't already and want to check out more Rackham news, there should be some videos appearing on that side of the screen. Like, subscribe, do all that crazy stuff, and even use my code in-game if you want to, I really do appreciate it. And uh, for a little tad bit about myself recently, um, I got sick. I, I don't know if you can tell in the recording or not, but let, let me know. Anyways, bye.